LST News at 5. Welcome back. Guess who's here? Dr. Chris Moran. You didn't leave after the last day of school. Nice to have you. Summer has begun. <laughs> it has. The vacation season is upon us, but it's important for students to keep reading during the summer, and you'll have some special free programs to help with that. We do. We want parents to realize they can go to our website, saisd.org, and find a number of uh, opportunities for kids this summer. One is through the Clever Portal. Uh, students can log in and get to Amplify and use their progress learning uh, tools there. Khan Academy is available. We've got summer camps and programs. Uh, Angelo State University is a great partner with us for summer camps. And then uh, finally, exploring college and careers through College Board. All of those are accessible on our website. Which is good for kids too because they love to be on their computers during the summer. <laughs> <laughs> too much sometimes. Right, but, yeah. but you can also yeah. help. Why is it important to keep up with reading skills when you're not in school every day? Well, there's a real thing called the summer slide and we just don't want kids to uh, drop uh, the habits of, of reading because reading is the basis for everything. Uh, if we can keep kids engaged in reading during the summer, uh, we find that they don't slip and slide academically and we get them back in the fall ready to go. All right, language skills also very important. I thought it was interesting that the, the first time you, we reported on it, the first Spanish spelling bee held this year by the Region 15 Service Center. Yeah, we're really proud of Joe Gandar's campus, Lincoln Middle School. We have three students that competed in the Region 15 competition and placed first, second, and third. We're really proud of those kids, and uh, Justine Rodales, Eileen Ponce, and Maria Villarreal all placed first, second, and third. We're really proud of those kids. This is the first time we've done it. Miss right. Eloisa Griffith was the uh, Griffin was the uh, sponsor. She's our secondary teacher of the year, and outstanding okay. teacher, great sponsor. Took these kids to the competition. And really did well. We're really obviously proud of them. Yeah. <laughs> they swept yeah. it. Yeah. The trifecta, and I'm, and they're doing it again next year too. I think this other project is really interesting for arts between Bowie Elementary and Central High School. Yeah, this is a good partnership, and uh, we like to see more of this. But our elementary kids read a book <laughs> called "Unlike Other Monsters" by Audrey Vernick, and then they drew a picture a picture of a monster friend and sent that picture to the high school and ceramics one two and three at central took those uh, pictures and then created a 3d model out of ceramics went back to Bowie and met the kid that drew the picture and gave them the 3d ceramic model so ashley gould at Bowie and her first graders were thrilled to be a part of that we're really excited about older kids working with younger kids uh, to collaborate. Well, I think so too, and what a great way to get those kids, you know, visually and reading wise, wise to remember that story. I mean, they will remember that forever after going through that. Yes, and it really goes to the four points of what we expect of all of our kids to be able to communicate, collaborate, be a critical thinker, and create. If we can get kids to do those four things and leave us to go into real life, we know that they'll be successful. All right, Dr. Moran, thank you. Appreciate it's it. Great Stay to be cool here. in the uh, hot weather. Thank you. <laughs>